Um, well, what an honor to be up here. Um, this event is, uh, well, what an event. I think uh, a hand to everyone. Um, I'd like to thank you all uh, for giving me this opportunity to talk to you today. Um, I'm Daniel Granot. I'm accepting this uh, gold pin on behalf of my mother, who donated uh, one of her kidneys to me, obviously. <laughs> right now she is cycling across Israel, helping to raise money for a worthy cause. She's very proud of her contribution to me and uh, wanted me to say a few words. I was diagnosed with renal failure at the age of two. I spent 17 years of my life with a functioning kidney transplant of some sort and 12 years on dialysis in total. I've had three kidney transplants, the last one in July 2007 from my mother. The kidney is performing exceptionally well. <laughs> And uh, I'd like to thank uh, Shlomo for being so important uh, as part of that. Um, so I no doubt sounds very matter-of-fact about my history, and I know my history is very different to most people. Not so different to a lot of the people here, but different nonetheless. Despite the opinions um, of others, I don't feel a hero or that I could receive any kind of acclaim. Those who indeed deserve acclaim are the people who have allowed me to live. The specialists, the nursing staff, and uh, all the ancillary staff. And I certainly wouldn't be here today living my life the way I am without them. But more importantly, right now, without the incredibly generous gift from my mother. My family is a very close family. I always feel like my family is closer than all others. So I'm sure many of you can relate to my description of my family. Sure we get into arguments, sure we get annoyed with each other frequently, but when it comes down to it, we're there for each other at the drop of a hat. We're so close that I initially didn't accept my mother's kidney. I didn't want to borrow it. I couldn't stand the idea of having someone experience pain, similar to what I have in the past, but for my own benefit. To be honest, despite six days a week of dialysis, of between two and three hours each time, I was studying part-time, I was fit, I had a tremendous social life, I was essentially happy and giving life a red-hot go. Except for one thing, I did not have the time or the energy to pursue my ambitions. I simply did not have enough time. Despite this, I still didn't want to accept my mother's kidney. After all, wasn't my life pretty great? And then as I was debating this issue with a friend of mine, she said the most remarkable thing to me that changed everything. How can you not accept the kidney? A mother wants to do everything for her child. And you are preventing her from doing what she feels necessary and important for her as a mother. If you were a parent, what would you do? And I instantly realised how selfish and closed-minded I'd been. If I were a parent, I would want to do everything for my child to have him or her live a full life. Well, the rest is history. I've never recounted this story before, and it's important that I do. Yes, I am glad to be doing things now that were almost impossible before, and sure, I'm happier for it. And there are a whole host of other benefits, not to mention a more flexible diet, as you've probably noticed from my fine physique. <laughs> I'm now an entrepreneur, and I lecture. But the lesson that I learned is that it really is far better to give than to receive. And when I talk to my mother, when I tell her how well I'm doing both professionally and with the help of her kidney, um, after a regular clinic appointment, I could see how happy she is. I could see how proud she is in me. And perhaps deservedly so in knowing that she has done the right thing as a mother in doing, that she could, uh, in doing all that she could to make sure that her son had every opportunity to
to have a full life. I'm a very lucky guy. I'm a very lucky guy to have the mother that I have. And to all the other donors out there, your recipients are very lucky to have had you. If they haven't thanked you recently, I'm thanking you now. Thank you.